you may already know that I have a certain interest in um, game uh, video game intros and uh, this is another intro that I want to um, uh, discuss and dissect uh, here and it's for the game called Alien Soldier which you may be already um, know and have played it's for it was released for um, Sega Genesis and um, it's really bizarre uh, the intro doesn't really make any sense so I'm trying to I'm gonna try to demonstrate that and share the experience uh, it's it's a really fun intro I mean in a way so um, let's take a look it's mostly textual um, and it goes a little something like this right and we're presented with the running text the year is 2015 the planet Sierra is gripped by fear and is in the midst of a deep crisis you know okay so far so good um, we got a sci-fi plot going on here um, the evil terrorist group Scarlet are still a commanding force um, still a commanding force which would mean probably that they've been a commanding force for a while um, at this point I thought that this was a sequel to something but it turned out that it was not which is okay well yeah I can I can run with that um, they have the power to prevent humans traveling to and from the outside universe whatever that means let's run with that Scarlet's members consist of artificial beings created using super genetic engineering by the Sierrans Scarlet is an underground organization that has been secretly formed with the express intention of destroying the human race. Um, so, again, it's already weird a bit because Sierrans, I presume, I guess, I don't know, are they the only human beings in this game? Anyway, that's okay. I mean, this is this is like a normal degree of weirdness, and you can attribute it to kind of errors in translation or whatever I have no idea actually what language this game was made in uh, and if it's if it's a translation from Japanese for example or not but um, let us continue and see where this goes so in addition to their high level of intelligence and awesome strength a Scarlet's members are equipped with the parasitic abilities that allow them to live within human beings animals and machinery Equipped with these abilities, they conquered the Sierrans. So basically, well, I understand why they conquered the Sierrans because they are fucking invincible. There is no way you can kind of find them unless you have similar awesome powers. Um, but the funny thing is what follows after this. It says, and stand on the brink of obtaining supremacy over Sierra. So they have conquered the Sierrans, but they have not obtained a supremacy over Sierra which would assume that someone else is still like there's someone else besides humans and sierrans there like maybe they haven't conquered the cats and dogs yet anyway let us continue here so Epsilon eagle the boss of scarlet group is the intended target of an assassination attempt being planned by sierrans a special combat group capable of using superpowers was secretly dispatched to carry out this mission which again, and this at this point I started thinking, okay, well maybe I'm gonna be part of that group, and this is like the the mission in the game. This is this is the goal of the game. I need to kill uh, Epsilon Eagle. So, and then we continue, and we find out that the situation is indeed different. Um, Scarlet unleashed a sudden attack on Epsilon with their superpowers, which makes kind of no sense at this point, because Epsilon Eagle is their leader. Sierrans are trying to kill him. But Scarlet unleashed a sudden attack on Epsilon with their superpowers. Epsilon, seriously damaged by the attack, was thrown into the time-space continuum which, would have, which had been activated by Scarlet's use of superpowers. Okay. With Epsilon seemingly gone forever. And I don't... This is a, another problem I have with this game. Is that I have no idea how to pronounce this. Um, is it the... I don't know. The 11th Tiger? The Zai Tiger? I'm just gonna call this guy Tiger because I have no idea how to pronounce his name. Um, so, with Epsilon seemingly gone forever, Tiger to control of Scarlet amidst the resulting what is the resulting resulting confusion. With Tiger now in charge, the terrorist attacks against Sierrans became more frequent and brutal. Okay, and with this increase in attacks towards Sierrans. Uh, Mr. Tiger soon became unpopular amongst Scarlet members, which makes no sense because the sole 
goal of Scarlet was to destroy humanity. And Scarlet is a really weird, like, hysterical organization because first, so they want to destroy humans, and so they, but but instead of destroying them and obtaining supremacy, they attack their own leader. Then this leader is like kind of banished to a different dimension or whatever, and then they attack their new leader. And it seems like the Scarlet is run by humans uh, secretly to destroy the, the the Scarlet people. I have no idea. Let's continue. As a result, the the demands for the reinstatement of Epsilon, who they attacked, I may, may I remind you, as the leader of Scarlet group became stronger. So Scarlet has no idea what the fuck they want. Having been isolated from the other Scarlet members, Tiger, or Mr. Tiger, decided to assassinate Epsilon in an attempt to activate the time-space continuum. Tiger ordered an attack on Sierra's, res uh, on Sierra's research uh, laboratory where children with superpowers were being held hostage having been kidnapped wow so uh epsilon is banished scarlet is going through this hysterical thing uh and tiger at this point who is despised by scarlet because they despise everyone wants to find and kill epsilon because that would make him like make his position as the leader stronger and so he to open the space continuum and find that motherfucker epsilon tiger orders an attack on sierra's research laboratory where children with superpowers were being held hostage having been kidnapped by sierra's so sierra's have superpower children who they sometimes kidnap and take them to this lab, which is attacked by Tiger, to kill Epsilon. But, okay. So, what comes next? So, Mr. Tiger sensed something was wrong. He could feel the presence of Epsilon in one of the boys. However, he was unsure because he couldn't pinpoint the evil from Epsilon, who had entered the boy's body and was now living as a parasite inside of him. In an attempt to get Epsilon out of the boy's body, Tiger took a young girl hostage and threatened to kill her unless Epsilon released the boy. Okay. So, incidentally, this facility that Mr. Tiger is attacking is the place where Epsilon is hiding, even though he was supposed to be in a different dimension. And... It's also unclear why Scarlet, despising Tiger now, agreed to attack the facility that he pointed out. And then he senses Epsilon, and he takes a girl hostage, who is already a hostage at the lab, so she's like a double ho hostage girl, and he threatens to kill her unless Epsilon released, releases the boy. Which, again, makes no sense, because... Epsilon is evil. Why would he even care about the double hostage girl? But let's continue. So, the boy flew into a rage and morphed his body into Epsilon. Okay. Suddenly, where the boy had been standing, now stood a birdman with steel wings. Why did Epsilon... Well, he was an Epsilon eagle, so I guess eagle, birdman, that kind of made sense for whoever wrote this text. So he turned into a birdman, which is kind of funny, but okay. Epsilon's mind was in conflict as a battle between its real nature, human justice, and the foreign force raged on. What the hell is the foreign force? So, well... Okay, real nature is his evil nature, human justice is, is the boy part, and then the foreign force is whatever that is. Mr. Tiger could sense an unknown power within Epsilon. Is unknown power... Is this the force? Is the foreign force... Or is this again like something else, another power that entered, whatever this is happening, and fled immediately having killed the girl for first. Okay. Um, wow. But he wanted, he wanted Epsilon to manifest himself, and Epsilon did kind of manifest himself. He realized which one of those kids was, ep was, was containing Epsilon. And then, as as this, when this happened, he fled. 
killing the girl, the double hostage girl. Doesn't make much sense. And this is uh, this is a quote from Epsilon. He says, "Mr. Tiger, I will never let you get away, because he's he's kind now. He's not evil anymore. Epsilon is not the only creature of his kind." Oh well, thank you. Somehow another Birdman with a similar body had been created, although their bodies were identical, their minds were very different, unknown to everybody. The mind of the mysterious new Birdman was filled with an evil ambition. So it's kind of like the evil separated away from Epsilon, I guess, and it was it formed another, another entity, another character who was completely evil, and he. Who is he also? Wait, what do I mean? He also flew off in search of Tiger. I guess they both. So the evil Epsilon and the good Epsilon, which was a mixture of Epsilon and Boy, flew off to find Mr. Tiger. Oh, because all of this makes no sense. And uh, you play as, as this guy. It's the Birdman guy that's, that's Epsilon morphed with the boy. And... Um, as, as, I just want this to disappear. Like, just take a look at this <laughs> visual here. Um, what the fuck is that rabbit moth thing vomiting on a planet? I don't think that... I haven't played this game to the end, to the very end, but I don't think that thing appears in the game at all. Um, but yeah, that's more. That's the introduction. And, in, and as I understand, I, I didn't, again, I said I didn't play it to the end, but as I understand, Epsilon... Well, you play Epsilon, but um, the tiger dude, he never even appears in the game. You do meet your evil twin, who is kind of um, similar to you, but not very. Again, I haven't met him yet. I just played like three or four levels. I just, I'm, I'm, I, I got kind of um, stuck on the introduction because it's so bizarre. Um, but um, thanks for listening to this and watching this. And um, hope you enjoyed this. And if you um, have a couple of pounds or dollars, you can play this on Steam. Thank you very much. This was introduction to Alien Soldier. And you saw this on Firewater Gasoline. Bye.